Hey, what is going on, Swerve Alliance? I'm Spontrap, bringing you guys another video. And today's going to be our first one actually going up on the team channel that is on Modern Warfare Remastered. We've been doing a lot of stuff on Infinite Warfare, but today I figured let's talk about Modern Warfare Remastered with this crappy gameplay I got on shipment that is just cut to crap because it seems like every single time that I took a step, I was getting shot or killed by somebody. But what I really wanted to talk about is how people keep demanding that things be buffed, things be nerfed, and things just overall be balanced in Modern Warfare Remastered because they seem to think uh, that it's just not fair the way it is. And while I didn't play Call of Duty 4 in its prime when it was like super hot, I'm almost certain that they patched the game during that time. The community went through a phase uh, where they were receiving regular patches and updating the game in that fashion. And at the end of all of that, they probably thought to themselves, before the next game came out, they probably thought, you know what, this game's multiplayer seems pretty good. And they left it and never patched it again, obviously, because they released another game, uh, which was World at War. So I think what people forget and they don't keep in mind is the fact that this game for its time was very balanced. And if you want to bring together a remastered game that is truly remastered and not redone in any other way besides really the graphics, it has to be the same as it always was. So I think the people who demand uh, that stuff get nerfed, stuff get buffed, and just get patched overall, they're making ridiculous demands because if they did that, this would not be the game that you could hop on Xbox 360 and play today because it would be different. It would have these, these gun balancing uh, that they didn't have back then. Uh, for whatever reason that they didn't have it, they didn't think it was fitting, and I think that the game, the way it plays right now, is supposed to feel nostalgic. It's not supposed to feel like, you know, a super hardcore game, unless you want to feel like that, because that's the nostalgia that you have associated with it. This game is strictly there, in my opinion, for nostalgia, and you should play it the way that you played it before. So people were saying, you know what, I used to play with all my buddies back in junior high school, we'd have like a six man on search and destroy, and we'd play it like super hardcore, and they'd get really into it, then you can still get into it today in the same way you got into it back then, with the same amount of balancing that they had back then. And if you played casually back then, you can play casually now with the same amount of balancing. So, all in all, I gotta give Raven a lot of credit, and I would really like to see this game be released as a standalone game, just like anybody else would, but as somebody that already owns the game, I would really like to just see what the sales figures come in at, uh, as this game being a standalone, plus including the Legacy Edition versions of Infinite Warfare that were sold, because right now it's hard to make a concrete argument uh, that Raven sold a ton of copies of this game, because it was attached to the Deluxe Edition, and you can argue that some of those people bought it just because it was $20 more and they got a second game, so I'd really be interested to see how many people bot just for infinite warfare because i think that raven deserves a lot of credit for the work they did they made an insanely popular game become popular again so i'm spawn trapped i will see you guys in the next one